Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, why does water expand when it freezes? In order to answer this question, we need to think about what water is made of. A compound like water can exist as a solid, a liquid, or a gas. But the molecules that make up the compound can behave quite differently in each state. Water molecules are made up of one oxygen atom, with two hydrogen atoms joined on. Because the oxygen atom is slightly negatively charged and the hydrogen atoms are slightly positively charged, molecules of water will be attracted to each other. This attraction is called hydrogen bonding, and it's the hydrogen bonds that make water very unusual. Most substances are more dense as solids than liquids, meaning that the solid form would sink in the liquid. So a piece of solid iron, for example, would sink in a pot of molten iron. This is because the molecules are held more closely together in the solid state. But in ice, the molecules are actually further apart than they are in liquid water. The hydrogen bonds hold them together in a lattice that's full of holes. When ice melts, the molecules gain energy and start jiggling around, constantly rearranging the hydrogen bonds, allowing the molecules to get closer together, making liquid water more dense. So this is why ice cubes float in the summer drink of your choice. The fact that ice will float on water is also a very lucky feature for life on Earth. Imagine a pond with some fish living in it. If water didn't expand when it freezes, then the colder, denser water would sink down and the pond would freeze from the bottom up. Bad news for the fish. Fortunately for our swimming friends, below about 4 degrees Celsius, water starts getting less dense meaning the ice forms on the surface of the water, allowing the fish and everything else in the water to survive the freeze. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!